Hello Aquarius, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest alone. If it doesn't, there's a playlist for November, you might want to look at that. Or you could look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. We have the Eight of Fire. So this is the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Fire here. Beautiful card. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over many things happening at once. So there could be a lot of good news coming in here. Things are moving on very, very quickly. I always think good news of any kind is coming in. Texts, emails, anything. Forgiveness. Now this beautiful energy of forgiveness doesn't mean we're all running about saying sorry and we're having to be, you know, the bigger person. It's about being the bigger person in the sense that we're understanding everything we've been through is for our soul growth. So we're forgiving and uh, letting things go from the past here, forgiving ourselves from decisions we've made. We've done the best we could with the cards we were dealt at the time. We're letting past events go and we're coming into the present. So a lot of good news coming forward here. And if you're in that energy, uh, good things will come. Opportunity. So new opportunities are coming in here. There's going to be opportunities for growth here. Good news coming in about opportunities. Delays are over, you see. So if you've been waiting on things, uh, waiting on job offers coming through, messages of any kind, the delays are finished now. The King of Pentacles. The Moon card. There were Ten of Swords, the Fool. The overall energy is the High Priestess, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So the overall energy, we'll start with that, is the High Priestess. And this is your intuition. It's what you're sensing, feeling, seeing around you, your environments, your gut instinct, your soul voice, whatever it is you want to call it. It's time to listen to your intuition now. Always listen to your intuition. Challenges and disappointments are ending now. There's opportunities that are coming in. So if there's been any disappointments for you, it's all ending. The backstabbing, the feeling left out in the cold, disappointments, like I say, are over. There's going to be fast movement coming in. There's going to be good news coming in. Um, it could all just move on very, very quickly. So challenges are over. So it's about things coming to light here. You're going to start to get the news you need, the information that's coming forward. So this can be a fear type energy because there's change coming in as well. You might be anticipating change. But don't be frightened because as you go forward, or you know, you start to gain information. So for example, if you have been waiting on good news coming in and you know, you're, there's a fear factor attached to it. Don't be frightened and don't think that spirits forgot you. That's what I'm trying to say there. I'm waffling a bit here. Don't think you've been forgotten because the good news will come in. So don't have a fear factor attached to it that it's never going to happen. Listen to your intuition here about how you want to go forward because what's going to happen is you're going to bring in change. Now, this could be why you're a bit frightened here because Fives are change for me. There needs to be change coming in. There's news coming in that's going to help you with this change. Now, there could have been a bittersweet victory or this could cause a bittersweet victory for you. It could help move you on very quickly. So this could be you having to cut your losses somewhere. Forgive the past, forget what's gone now and making decisions we need to make to go forward and take a leap of faith forward towards new opportunities. Now, this can feel like you're leaving something behind. And that's why we can feel this fear factor here about this change coming in. We need to make this change. We need to go forward and we need to bring in new opportunities, go towards these new opportunities here. Now, we want to be focusing on what we're coming out with and not what we've left behind. So there's a bittersweet feeling to this. Uh, so if we're leaving things behind, we want to be forgiving the people that we're leaving behind. It could be we're leaving home to live somewhere else. There's been challenges in that. We might have enjoyed living there, but we're moving to a new town. We could be moving, if the good news comes in, we could be moving to a new town, for example, to work. We could be moving to a new town to, to live with a, a partner. 
there's a movement forward here. There's fast moving for movement forward. Now it could be if you're moving in with your partner, for example, you're leaving your home behind, and that's going to feel as if you're losing something. It's that kind of loss that we're talking about here, but it's necessary because it's going to take you down this path to go towards growth. This opportunity you're taking and the good news that's coming in with regards it, regards to it, is going to bring new growth into your life. So it doesn't matter what path you go down here. You're going to, if you're taking this leap of faith, it's time to take the leap of faith forward um, and have the confidence you're going to bring growth into your life. Now, this is about what your idea of stability is. So it could be within your work life, your finances, your relationships, or your environments, your home life. Anything that's tangible in your life, you're making this decision here. You could be cutting your losses here. The good news that's coming in is going to help you move forward towards what it is that you're wanting to create. So we'll just put again, events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over now. The changes are coming. Many things are happening at once. So it could feel quite dizzy. It could feel there could be a bit of, because there's change, a bit of fear factor. But listen to your intuition. You're going to go down the right path here, most definitely. And you're going to start to see the stability. Take these opportunities up. Now, this could be new opportunities as well for financial growth. It could be new studies, courses, anything that's new. Um, but definitely go towards whatever you want to create. It's time to do that and take up these new opportunities. There's going to be stability comes along. And through taking this leap of faith, you're going to be in the driving seat. You're going to be able to take on any challenges that come along because you're being creative now. And you're putting your energies in the right people, situations and environments. You might have to defend yourself at some point. That's fair enough. But stand your ground. You might have to stand your ground as well. Uh, so whatever this change is for you, this bittersweet victory that's coming in, it's going to put you, you're going to get the upper hand. You definitely need to go forward here, uh, Aquarius. And this here is about the idea of whatever it is you're taking up is going to serve you well. And it's going to bring great stability in. And you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labour here. He's somebody who's sitting back. He's got all his home comforts. If it's a new job you've taken up or a new, you know, some, a new study course, you're going to flourish in it. And if it's a new job, you could end up with promotion. Or if you've got a study course you've taken up, you could end up being employed through it. It's all this type of thing here. So new opportunities coming in and good news is coming along with it. And you're going to feel very stable and very secure. And you're going to have good relationships around you as well good financial setups here. So disappointing times are over. Don't be frightened to choose new paths. Don't be frightened to take up this opportunity. Use your intuition by all means, but it's about taking that leap of faith towards new things that could bring in growth for you, stability in some area of your life. And as long as you're, you're cutting your losses here, you see, and you're going down a path that's a win-win situation. It's a beautiful reading. Focus. Focus. You're in need of clear direction. Decide what you want in life. Yeah. Tune into your intuition here. Affirm. Affirm. Create your own affirmations. Think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down. And this is about having a positive mindset. This is what I'm saying. This card, I'm kept drawn to this card. Don't be afraid to choose your own path and take up new opportunities for yourself here. Okay, I hope this helps Aquarius. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.